Hello. Hello, it's me again. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Um, it has been a while since I've been on my channel, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's been around three weeks. This is so unlike me. You guys know I'm the queen of consistency. <laughs> yeah, I definitely needed a little bit of a break and you know what? I was just not feeling it. I was not feeling like just filming and talking to the camera. I've been so active on TikTok and Instagram because I don't have to like talk. It's just putting on makeup and like having fun with the TikTok videos, the lip syncing, it's all fun. I feel like when you have to talk, you really have to like be upbeat and everything. So I've definitely missed filming on YouTube. I guess we're gonna do a little bit of a chit chat, get ready with me. I've already done my brows. I think I'm gonna recreate one of my TikTok Instagram looks that I did. It was like a gold light eye with a liner and a bright red lip and it was so stunning, guys. I might change it up and make it a little bit different because I'm gonna use the new Huda Beauty Wild Tiger palette. My left eyebrow is kind of bugging me. I've been using the Benefit Brow Pomade and I use a shade four and it's really, really good guys. Definitely recommend it. Shall we start off with Squid Game because I feel like that's just been all over the internet. If you don't know what Squid Game is, it's a Korean um, series that came out on Netflix recently, went straight to number one and it's basically um, a game but like it's a game with humans it's kind of like the hunger games but a different version i think it's even better than Hunger Games. anyway spoiler alerts because i'm going to talk a bit about the show um <laughs> um they kind of do end up killing each other but it's basically a game and if you lose you you die each level whatever it's so good the acting is amazing and it was so intense and i definitely recommend it for me it was a 10 out of 10 I really enjoyed it. So like I said, I'm going to use this Wild Tiger eyeshadow palette by Huda Beauty. And I think I'm first going to grab this burnt shade. Let me know if you guys watched the show in like with the English voiceover. I just feel like when you do that, it ruins it. It really takes away from the actual character and the actual acting. I just feel like the voices don't match the... The, the people in, in real life, like with when they just speak their actual language. I remember me and my husband, we were watching this French uh, film and we was like, let's put the English voiceover on and it just ruined the whole vibe. Like the acting was off. And even, because we understand both English and French, when we heard the English subtitles, it just, it was just like a joke. Like there's nothing wrong with it, but I just feel like it really takes away from it. So we watched it in like the Korean, well, the actual language and we put English sub subtitles and I definitely recommend that when you're watching like Narcos, I would never put English voiceover. <laughs> you have to watch it with the actual voice. If you watched it with the English voiceover, I feel like you missed out on a lot. Like you missed out on the actual acting. And I really feel like K Korean shows are like really coming out now. Everyone's starting to get into it. Me and my brother, we've always kind of been into it. We, I think one of my favorite ones was Train to Busan because I love horror films. And that is like a really good zombie film. So intense, I definitely recommend it. My brother's playing his games in the background. So ignore the yelling in the background. I'm now gonna take the dark brown in here. Yeah. This on the outer corner. I watched Made yesterday, literally binge watched it. I really took a day to myself yesterday, like I did absolutely nothing. I mean, I did a bit of cleaning, but I watched Made and it was so good. Really, really enjoyed that one. I want to take a bit of the mustard shade here. And I'm just gonna use that to blend out the edges. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram and TikTok, make sure to do so because I've been having so much fun on there. I've been posting quite regularly on there um, because do you know what? It's just more fun at the moment for me. And YouTube's quite hard as well at the moment. What I go on YouTube for are chit chat, get ready with me's and vlogs. That's all I watch on YouTube, like mostly vlogs to be honest as well. And I'm not in the mood to vlog at the moment because I just feel like Mm, it's very like my days are so like I don't have kids like I live in a house where not everyone wants to be on camera so it's just mostly me on the vlog so like, sometimes I find it a bit difficult to vlog I don't know you guys still like it but I just you know when you just feel off and you just think it's boring like why would anyone watch this I know I'll get back into vlogging but I just haven't been feeling it for myself but I've been loving watching other people's vlogs like literally so obsessed I'm gonna use some of my NYX glitter glue and just put a bit on my lid and we're just gonna blend this on the the inner corner 
Another reason why I haven't been wanting to film lately is just I haven't been feeling myself lately. I've been going through some personal stuff, struggling mentally. I feel like I've got that seasonal depression thing where because it's winter time and the sun is out less, you just feel really low and just irritated and unmotivated. And I'm definitely going through that phase right now. Burnt gold shade is like calling to me right now. And I'm just gonna press that. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Ah, so pretty. Wow. But you know, I am choosing to get up and just move my ass. I can't be in bed depressed all day. Like, what is? what am I achieving out of it? Because another thing is eating. Eating is a massive coping mechanism for me. When I, Whenever I'm feeling down, I resort to food and like the binge eating. I recognize it, I know I have that issue, and uh, I'm trying to just control myself now. I definitely feel more myself at the moment, but some days are harder than others. But life still goes on and we have to keep moving on. I still have to go to work. Um, I still, I need to get back into working out. Before the pandemic, right, I used to go to work, do like 10K step plus, then I would come home, do like a one hour HIIT workout, make food for work and everything, and then on to the next day. Like I was so productive and so on the move and you don't even realize it because you get into that routine and I kind of miss routine. I've been going into the office and it hasn't been too bad. Uh, I really like the balance. I love that, that we can do a few days at home, a few days in the office. Um, and I'm actually not mad at going in every now and then. I, look, I'm, I get excited for my little coffee in the morning because I've been doing a like prep um, subscription service. If you guys don't know, you can get like free coffee, like five free coffees a day from prep for like 20 pounds a month. And even if you got one coffee a day, you're still like winning. It's so worth it guys. So definitely recommend it. And you can always cancel at the end of the first month if you're not feeling it. So yeah, I've been obsessed with that. <laughs> and yeah, just going for walking to the station in the morning, just routine, so. Yeah, on the lid, I'm actually gonna use some of my Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Shadow. This is in the shade Kitten Karma. I feel like everyone needs this in their collection. I don't really need to add this, but this just adds like an extra oomph. Then I'm gonna use my Essence Liquid Eyeliner. Some of you wanted me to ch ch uh, touch up uh, on weight gain, especially the weight gain after the pandemic. I feel like a lot of us have gone through that. You know, I feel like we've all put on a few pounds, like it's a bit normal, we've been less active. I can't talk when I do my eyeliner. Whenever I do eyeliner, I always grab this Essence one, it's so good. You know, I actually went to the doctors to renew my pill and every time you do that, you do like a blood pressure and you get your, your you get weighed. I don't mind talking about my weight, like I honestly don't. Um, so if you guys want to skip this part, you can go ahead. But basically it was like 64 kilos and I'm like 75 now. I had worked so hard and when I went to go get my teeth in Turkey, I, I was at my lowest at 61. But that's when I felt my best, guys. Like, I felt so confident. And it wasn't like I had an extremely flat stomach or anything, even when I was at 61. It isn't even about that. It's just that you feel like healthier, stronger. My face looked completely different. Like sometimes I look in the mirror, I don't even recognize myself anymore. One's bigger than the other now. I think when it comes to weight gain, what took me a while to understand, and which does really help, is the fact that our weight will fluctuate, especially mine. My, my whole life, my weight fluctuates like crazy. I always gain a, a bunch and then I end up losing it all. And the fact that we were locked in for months, months guys, it doesn't help. I've been going through some stuff, I've been eating, I'm obviously gonna put weight on. And the only thing that you can do is try not to let that get to you because it can eat you from the inside, I'm telling you right now. So what I'm doing is just, I'm trying to focus that energy into just moving my body, whether that's going for a walk, walking to the station instead of taking a bus in the morning, going for walks on my break. And then I'm slowly going into the workouts that I, 
really miss and workouts are a way for me to release all that energy and I haven't been doing that which again hasn't been helping so it's just like this vicious cycle so it's only you that can just get up and make that change if you want to you don't have to but for me like I just it's another thing that's been affecting me and I just don't feel I just don't feel healthy at all I've just eaten been eating junk food on top of junk food so I've also been buying clothes that are that fit me sometimes when you have a whole wardrobe that fit you once and you're trying to get into it how is that going to help you in any shape or form it brings me down like so bad guys so I've just been buying a bunch of clothes that actually fit me for for like the office and like everyday loungewear I need water and the way I'm personally dealing with it is just getting back on track it's only only I can do that for myself I can't depend on anyone else to do that for me yeah that's what I would say only you can make the change and it's one step at a time is a whole lifestyle change I'm not talking about diet culture because it's too intense and you can't for me personally like I've tried it you can't like it's not really great in the I don't think it's really great on the longer term I don't really want to count calories anymore I used to do that when I lost a lot of weight but it's just I just don't want to live like that so for me it's just changing my lifestyle making healthier choices and Take it from there, I'm not gonna put pressure on myself. I refuse to do so. Today I'm gonna use the Farah Lashes by Feather Beauty. Have you guys seen that Nusra uh, restaurant in London that recently opened? I really wanted to go, but then I haven't seen the prices and I'm just like, mm, mm -mm. I literally feel like you have to give up an arm and a leg to eat there and like, just for him to go like this and put some gold leaf on it, it's just like, for me, like it's not worth it. Like. I, felt, I saw this guy on TikTok, he was like, I could literally go to the local kebab shop and ask him to do this on my kebab and then it'll be like five pounds. And like, even when you see that Salt Bay guy doing the cutting, he just looks so neutral and unbothered. Like, I'm just like, not about that life. I might even go there. I wanted to go there in Turkey, but apparently in Turkey, like those prices are even like, they're way cheaper. So for me, like it's not worth going it going to it here but i do want to experience it one day not like the gold leaf stuff just like the meat and the food because you put gold leaf and then you add another 10 20 30 pounds on top just for that little gold leaf that you can't even taste it just looks pretty oh that looks so pretty i'm just gonna let that dry and then i'll fix the line after i'm gonna put some of my fenty hydra visor moisturizer i'm definitely also going through a phase of like Am I sharing too much on socials or am I, um, I don't know, there's always that like line like where do you stop, like how much do you share? I'm going to use my Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation, this is in the shade 4W. I don't know if you guys have seen all the drama with the Ace family, so Austin's brother Landon and Shyla. I loved watching their videos before. But like seeing all the drama is just like a bit scary. It's just like they were once before and now look at them. They're like enemies, pure enemies. It's crazy how like a relationship can just turn like that. And I think it's kind of scary like how everyone's all up in your business. Like they're going through a rough patch and everyone just knows about everything that's been going on. Like just can you imagine if you're going through a rough patch with family or whatever and then it's all on the internet for everyone to see and judge and make form their own opinions about your situation and about your problems like i just can't i just can't deal with that like it's and you know shyla i feel like she's been have been going through it the past few months and no one's even known about it and they tried to make her look like the crazy one i try not to judge too much because you you never know the full story shyla did have receipts on receipts and there's something really dodgy about landon like why is he posting fake pictures on his stories why i'm using my Too faced born this way concealer in the shade sand and you know what's so sad out of all this is like there's an actual child involved She's gonna grow up and see all this mess online. I'm gonna use the Fenty Match Sticks. This is in the shade Suede. I swear I had a dark one. Oh yeah, I do. I have the shade, excuse me, Truffle. I don't use too much of Truffle. Just gonna buff this in. else has been going on there's one video i really want to do i've been wanting to do it for so long it's like a thrift shopping 
kind of video. I'm just gonna blend my under eyes again quickly. I'm just gonna set my face with some Laura Mercier powder. For blush, I'm gonna use this Natasha Denona blush palette. And it's got like a little highlight to it too. To put some mascara. And then for the exciting part, we're gonna put that beautiful, gorgeous red lip. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. This is in the shade Pioneer. Right, guys this is the final look i really do hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat get ready with me i hope you'll find this look helpful i feel like you can wear this to anywhere and this lip like you, if you guys love a, a cool tone red lip this one's the one to go for it's so nice it's got like a bit of a blue tone blue fuchsia tone to it so yeah definitely recommend it and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like because it really helps your girl out. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!